What's going on everyone, Juan Valdez here and today I wanted to make this video going over the difference between Shopify and ClickFunnels. As you guys know, in the e-commerce space, things are always evolving and there's always new things to test out and new strategies to implement. And so for the last one to two weeks or so, my business partner Samir and I have actually been trying out ClickFunnels, specifically taking winning products from our Shopify store that have already been making us sales consistently and bringing it over to a sales funnel on ClickFunnels. And we've actually had some great results with that so I figured now would be appropriate to actually go and make a video on the topic for you guys. So in this video, I was actually gonna see if I can pull up the app to show you guys some of the numbers because it's been scaling up and it's been doing a decent amount of sales every single day. But once it loads up, I'll, I'll pull it up for you guys. It's an app uh, for ClickFunnels. But in this video, I'll basically just cover the difference between the two and we'll just get right into it. So it's obviously important to understand the difference between Shopify and ClickFunnels. Uh, Shopify is more of a storefront for sure, which is obviously needed to run an e-commerce business. It's more of a storefront, right? It's obviously a website you go on and you have like, you know, you have numerous different collections, you have different products. You have, you know, you're able to tell your brand story. You have a little bit about what you guys do as a business and a whole lot more. So obviously you're able to have the customer come on there and have more of an experience on your website, right? And obviously that's useful, right? If you have an e-commerce business, people like buying more than just from any other business or any website. They like usually buying for a cause and a reason. And having a Shopify store and having that full Shopify storefront experience is super important when it comes to e-commerce. In regards to this video, it's not gonna be a video going over why why you should only use Shopify and why you should only use ClickFunnels. It's actually gonna be going over how you can use both and why you should. And so make sure you guys stay till the end to find out the exact reasons as to why and how you can really use them hand in hand. To kind of get right into it, right? The original sales process that pretty much everybody that's in the job shipping space was going through is that they find a product and they drive traffic with either Google or Facebook onto their product page on Shopify. And then on there, they try to upsell them or bundle some offers together or products in the bottom, right? So they either have have like one of those um, quantity breaks set up where basically, you know, it's like a bundle where the more products that you get if, of that same item, the more of a discount you get. So that was one way they try to upsell them. But if not in the bottom, like kind of like how Amazon does, they have like a recommended products or people who bought this also bought these products, right? Another opportunity to try to upsell and bundle products with that same initial product that the customer came to get. And so usually from there, again, they'll either choose the products or the upsells or not. And either way, the goal from getting them to the product page is to either get them to check out or if not obviously sometimes they don't end up checking out for whatever reason obviously there's life and they end up abandoning cart and then obviously then later on you can follow up with them but this is the process right here that pretty much everybody that's drop shipping is going through right they're driving them to their product page and then from there if they don't buy obviously then they're following up with them with email marketing i hope at least you guys are following up with them email marketing and they have like an abandoned cart email sequence where they're using to you know remind that customer to come back and finish that purchase now obviously that's the process that you know we're using on our shopify store as well there's a there's just a couple different things that you know with click funnels you can do that makes it a lot more unique the second process would be you know driving a customer or a lead to your home page and then from there you know you have your pop-ups where you know they can get a coupon as an incentive for give opt opting in with their email address and then right there you can collect their email address and they, which you can then use obviously remarket to that customer so that's obviously useful uh, and then from there from the home page they would go on the product page and hopefully they do the checkout if not sometimes abandoned car and then you know obviously you'd have to follow back up with the customer with you know email sequences but then from there it's a thank you page order confirmation page just letting them know that their order is complete and that's kind of the process the shopify sales process that customers are going through and the only problem with that is that usually it ends up ending there right obviously for those of you guys that do utilize email marketing you take it a step further and you follow back up with these customers so for you guys it doesn't end there but for some people that aren't utilizing email marketing it does end there and so right now the typical way a shopify store owner is try to increase average order values is by installing upsell apps such as product upsell which offer you a you may also like box with upsells and cross sells that's what i was mentioning earlier and those you know work really well but that does miss about 98 percent of the people who don't end up at checkout right because the people that just come on your home page and visit your website well that doesn't mean that they're automatically going to be able to see those product upsells and up, upsells and cross sells and down sells that you have in place and so there is still more opportunity to fulfill customer needs and increase your average order value and have customers buy from you a whole lot more and that's when 
ClickFunnels kind of comes in. ClickFunnels, you know, it's mainly made for uh, specific offers and promotions and it, it mainly focuses on one main product, right? And really gives you multiple different ways to be able to capitalize on one main product. And so ClickFunnels itself, it is more for promotions, again, just like I said, which is also needed for an e-commerce business as well. Because again, if your e whole e-commerce business and your store is mainly just like always promoting all your products, well, you know, you're not really gonna be focused on any in particular product specifically. And so you might have people that come onto your store that you put an ad in front of that maybe they wanna focus on uh, one specific product and seeing too many other products may get them like distracted, right? And so it may um, not appeal to them as much. The sales process with ClickFunnels is uh, a little bit different, not too far different, but basically again, you find whatever product or you may already have the product and you drive traffic with either Google or Facebook. And then from there, you drive them to an opt-in page. Opt-in page is pretty simple or a landing page. It's pretty simple. It's just a page where you basically get to promote the product. You have all the information there. And then from there to get to the next page where they, if they're actually interested in the product, they have to put in their email. And so the difference between so far between Shopify and uh, ClickFunnels is in order to actually see the offer, the customer has to put in their email. So you get to capture their email up front before they even get to the checkout page where they can actually buy the product. And so that gives you the opportunity to then later on remarket to them and you know send them on the other offers and promotions. Now you can split test and there is some funnels that are set up where they, they don't have like an opt-in form. They just drive them straight to the landing page, which they don't have to opt into anything on the landing page. It has all the information of the product and everything. And then it also has the form, a checkout form in the bottom, which I'll show you guys how it looks like where they can just input their information. People usually do split test both of them but regardless the fact that you can have the sales process if you wanted to where you collect emails up front is huge because then later on you can remarket to your customers and that's something that you know with Shopify you don't always get to get because not everybody opts into that you know either Wilio or the pop-ups that you have on Shopify but on ClickFunnels, you're giving them no choice, so it's usually a lot more likely. But again, these are things you can split test, and I'm sorry if I may be going a little bit too advanced, but this is basically the one of the process or sales funnels you can have in place on ClickFunnels. And this is something that we're trying out ourselves. From there, opt-in page has offered a lot and is used to collect email for remarketing. Yep, we went over that. And then the next page that you take them to is an order form, that's what it's called. And the order form usually have the offers set up already. And usually these offers, they're set up in a lot better of a way than you can set them up on Shopify. On Shopify, you usually have like a little box and it has like, again, the little order quantities. Like if you get two, you get 5% off. If you get three of these products, you get, or four of these products, then you get 10% off. And it's just like a box that's set up that way. Now you can set up similar offers on funnels, but you can make them look a lot better. And obviously when it comes to buying things online, it's all about how things are uh, presented and how things look. And so, uh, for example, actually, this is a picture of how you can have it set up on a funnel. And you can see right here that this is definitely a lot cleaner looking than how you can set it up to be on Shopify. So uh, on funnels, you do get to kind of mess around and have a little bit of flexibility with how you can have things looking like on the funnel. And so, for example, this is how you would set up different offers right on the checkout page or order form, actually, where the customer would input the information and then end up checking out. And then having this offer set up like this, you know, makes it a lot more likely that the customer is probably gonna get more than just one of the product because here they're seeing like the deals that they can get, but also like having this like most popular, so having this set up like makes it so that it's probably gonna be a lot more likely that they're gonna go with like the best offer you have in place. And so uh, just things like that that you can have in place, but that's just an example of like how you can set up different offers on your order form or checkout page, uh, whichever one you wanna have, wanna call it. And that's important because right now in our time in the e-commerce world, offers are everything, literally everything, right? That's how you're gonna compete against Amazon, how you're gonna compete and differentiate yourself compared to all the other stores out there. Because let's say they end up, you know, they don't go with your offer, right? And they end up just choosing just one, in this case, smart charging cable. Well, after that, usually the sales funnel, there's different steps to it, right? So the first page is just, uh, either like an opt-in form or lead page. Then from there you take them to, uh, let's say you have the checkout form on the same page. You then offer them, you take them to a, a one-time offer, which is an upsell. Now, uh, it's interesting how ClickFunnels lets you set up upsells and downsells because on a Shopify, unless you have specific apps, usually the upsells and downsells happen before the customer em enters in their information, right? And that sometimes deters some of the customers and leads that you're bringing in. And so having the upsells and downsells be after the customer enter, enters in all their information is a lot more smoother of a process. And so usually how you can set it up is that 
you know, again, the customer goes to this first page right here. They choose uh, whatever offer they want. They enter their information. And then from there, you can send them to a second page that looks like this one right here, which has the upsell. And I actually pulled an example up. You can actually send them to a page that looks like this. A super simple, hurry, claim your 360. You can put whatever products you want here. But this is just an example of a funnel that's built where literally after they, they, they're done checking out, you give them a one-time offer and they can either say yes or no to this. So you can either say yes right here if not no right here and then obviously if they say yes it automatically gets added to their order and if they say no then obviously they don't get that but then what happens after this you can add in another product to come after that which would be a down sell usually you know you have upsells which is a more expensive product and then a down sell which is a least expensive product but you basically get to set these up and super easy and super clean looking right you can see right here how it looks and so this is the unique function of a funnel right the fact that you can have customers come in and go through these different steps after they go through the steps and they end up you know finishing their offer obviously then take it to a page where it says congratulations so having a sales funnel in place can be very useful because using sales funnels you can increase your average order values a lot easier than you can on shopify with the shopify again the only places where you can really upsell and try to increase your average order values like if you have the quantity breaks on your product page which does work don't get me wrong it does work we try it out or or if not having the related products at the bottom, right? Those are the two options. If not, you can then try to upsell and downsell after the customer enters in their information, but you need specific apps that can do that. And it's not as smooth, right? Now with ClickFunnels, it's a lot easier to increase your average order value because of the way you can set up offers on your product page and how you can upsell and downsell. It's a lot smoother of a process and you can make things look a lot better. You can craft offers around upsells and downsells because even though you can set up upsells and downsells on Shopify, if you don't craft an offer around that upsell or an offer around that downsell where the customer may not bite on it and you may not even see actual results with it. And so what we have found that works so far is testing products on Shopify, finding winners on there. And once you find the winning product, you then bring it on to ClickFunnels to increase your conversions and also increase your average order value. And the reason why we, I believe we've seen increase in conversions and increase in average order value, is just because of the functionality of ClickFunnels, right? When you're bringing a customer to a specific funnel, there's no distractions, there's no other product, it's specifically on that product, and so that's the main focus. And so I believe that's one of the reasons as to why we've seen an increase in conversions. And as far as increase in average order value, it's because of the, how you can set up the offers and upsells and downsells. Now, the only reason why I don't recommend personally for anyone that's brand new to e-commerce to start off with ClickFunnels is because it does take a lot longer to create the funnels and does take a lot longer to test on ClickFunnels. And so I'd recommend for anybody to still get started with Shopify. You know, once you get really advanced, you learn all the ins and outs of e-commerce e and you're able to get winning products on your Shopify store, then I'd recommend to consider testing out ClickFunnels. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope I didn't lose you guys or get too complicated. If you guys have any questions about anything that we covered in regards to Shopify and ClickFunnels, drop them in the comments below. I'll make sure to get back to you guys. If you guys learned a thing or two from this video, I'd appreciate it if you dropped the like for the boy. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you join the family, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.